You're watching the news leader, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. A teen from Long Island is finally getting the chance to live a normal life. After battling severe Tourette's for 17 years, a breakthrough surgery has dramatically eased the symptoms. Senior medical reporter Dr. Jay Adlersberg has his story. Shade Diana Tourette's syndrome develops in children between the ages of 7 and 10. can be mild with a blinking tick or a throat clearing tick and disappear after a few years. Or it can be severe and almost unbearable. It was like that for young Robert Lidieri of Smithtown, Long Island. This tape of an extreme convulsion is almost painful to watch. This is how Robbie's convulsions were at his worst last year. Attacks that were uncontrollable, extreme and dangerous for Robbie. This is the Smithtown, Long Island teenager today, on stage addressing the press about his experiences over the last six yeah, months. I, it's night and day, I've, like I've said in the past. Um, I can do things that I never thought were possible. The change, two electrodes feeding new impulses into his brain from devices implanted in his chest. Neurosurgeons at the Movement Disorder Center at North Shore University Hospital on Long Island implanted the electrodes in February. Tourette's is believed to be caused by a misfiring of a brain signal. The electrodes provide continuous electrical stimulation to that part of the brain and hopefully correct or alter the abnormal activity. Robbie's mom, Debbie, says it was bad. He had uh, ticks throughout the day, but the big ticks, as we called them, uh, they were coming every seven days, and they would last about two hours long, where he would just continuously beat himself up. The surgery, called deep brain stimulation, is approved for Parkinson's disease and other movement disorders, but is still considered experimental in treating Tourette's syndrome. But for Robbie and his family, the experiment so far has been successful. We have our life back. There's happiness in our, in our home. It's certainly given me, uh, this being our second case, increased optimism for this as a possibility for patients with really severe Tourette's syndrome. And the teenager who was never allowed out before is thrilled for new opportunities, even having a curfew. For the first time I have a curfew, uh, I could drive, walk down the street without having people look at me like I have 12 heads. So it's really exciting. <laughs> And the smile says it all. Tourette's syndrome is more common in boys, and for many children, medication controls it. However, for a few, and Robbie's one, the effect is overwhelming. Doctors are optimistic that the benefits of the surgery will be long-term. Shut up, Diana. Mm, so happy for Robbie. Great to hear. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jay.